guys welcome back again to my channel if you're meeting me for the first time my name is sophia ayo welcome to my channel before we go into today's video please first off click the subscribe button okay like and um comment okay and if you really want to join the sophomore family like you really 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 want to join the sophomore family now you need to subscribe right okay so today's video you can tell the title of today's video from the caption like it's one of its kind i can tell you guys hmm it's saddening and disheartening that this is the first reaction video i'm doing and it's about oh god i'm so emotional but i'll have to let it go so it's about um osinachi wachuku the popular Ekweme Kruna and um, the cause of her death. It's it's really saddening that she passed on this way. We all know the news of her death has been making rounds on social media since late last night to, to the whole of today. Actually, saw the news. I think about eleven p.m. yesterday, and I was really devastated and shocked that such a talented woman had to go this early the woman has a powerful voice and i am so 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 paid that she left this earth with such a powerful voice but then again i'm happy because i know where she is she, she's with the angels and she will be singing with the host of angels okay now the cause of her death, like we all know was um a case of domestic violence mm. i have to put this out here and right now if you are in any domestic violent marriage please please be you a pastor's wife a sister in the church an evangelist whatever please and please save your head first even god in heaven will understand that you had to save yourself right okay so you won't be a victim about a victim of this same circumstance that befell uh, our dear sister wachuku osinachi now this brings me to the main reason why i'm shooting this video okay or why i'm actually talking about this topic a lot of people or will i say a lot of yeah a lot of women or even men are in abusive marriage and relationship but because of naysayers they remain there until one unfortunate thing happens then you will start hearing stories I've been married for going to five years now. I wouldn't really say my marriage has been a rosy one, but I would actually say I have an understanding with the man I'm living with. In a scenario whereby you do not have an understanding with your husband, your man, your spouse, your fiancé, or whatever. And whatever that has been causing an issue in your marriage keeps persisting or keeps happening. Please, and it leads to domestic violence to the extent that you get landed in the hospital or with what with an eye one eye gone or a broken bone and all that please my sister my brother please leave okay for the sake of tomorrow please leave for the sake of your loved ones if you have kids for the sake of your children right okay please leave now i'm going back to uh osinachi's husband for whatever reason would a man beat a woman a woman that you married with your money a woman you once loved sometimes i can imagine what leads to this domestic violence of a thing you will see couples being married for six years and they've been battling with domestic violence from the initial point if you know that you do not love the woman that you married why don't you let her go why subject her to that horror of hitting her at all times regardless of whatever thing she might have done or she does yes for whatever reason you do not hit a woman these men that hit women were they raised by animals i don't just understand how can you hit your beloved wife into coma 
and that's not only that you abuse her all the time you made her have low self-esteem you took over everything that has to do with her business or her bookings from all i heard you, she, uh, um they do bookings through the same man uh, he takes everything and gives her peanuts that woman lived like literally lived like a slave under this man oh no this is really painful no one deserves to go through this and again i will say and actually i'll actually say this the churches has failed us yes you guys let's imagine that this woman left her marriage from what her friends have been telling her about leaving her, her marriage oh see if this woman had left that marriage i am sure a lot of churches won't actually welcome her in to come perform or anything a lot of churches would discriminate her without even hearing her own side of the story and that is the truth seriously i'm sure she remained in that marriage because of nessie as because of the church what would the church say what would my pastor say what would mommy g o say what would mama yad say what would the reverend say what would the bishop say no at this point your own happiness matters the truth is if she had left that marriage before now i'm sure she would have been alive the church needs to do better on educating women consigning domestic violence the church needs to come out clean and be open the church needs to be frank they need to be truthful that you don't remain under a roof of a man that hits you even to the extent of beating you into coma if the man doesn't change here right now i will say the church failed our sister osina chinwachuku of the blessed memory this is painful this is really 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 painful seriously we lost a great woman i feel for her children i really feel for her children if you are watching this video for whatever reason you are still in that violent marriage or that violent relationship or you are still in love with that violent man please my sister please my brother there are a lot of cases of women that has died as a result of domestic violence no one deserves to go through this no one no one we all might not be lucky to marry a man that doesn't hit us but if you marry one and you see you cannot control him please take a bow marriage is not a do or die affair it's not even an achievement yes it's not an achievement couples have issues yes i and my husband we have our issues and we iron it out it doesn't get to the level where my husband has to hey, raise his hand and hit me or even hit me to the level of hitting me into coma oh oh that's the height of it really that's really really the height of it so please if you are in an abusive marriage that your husband beats you to the extent that every day or every week you land in the hospital my sister or my brother it's not only women that are in abusive marriages yes men are in abusive marriage as well truthfully so my brother my sister if you are in any abusive marriage that leads you or lands you in the hospital like literally every week or every two weeks or every month please leave leave for the sake of your children if you have kids leave for the sake of your age mom if your mom is still alive leave for the sake of your of your dad leave for the sake of your siblings there are still people that love you even if you're even if you're an offer because a lot of people that face domestic violence are those that are offer be like who will i run to live for the sake of people that love you i'm sure there are people out there that love you even if you don't have you can still find people out there that will love you regardless of who you are please 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 to her aged parents if they are still alive you people should please uh, um, take heart to her children i pray that god will comfort and console those, ki those kids because not even easy growing without a mom sincerely i've come to the end of this video and um
please please do subscribe like share and comment and thank you all for watching